Football League. Madden Football is the home of the Super Bowl, and this historic matchup is brought to you by EA Sports. It's the Ravens and the Packers. All that and more coming up next. Well, this 2024 season has been one to remember. Great games, great players, great finishes. And now, it all comes down to this. One game to decide it all. On this February night at Caesars Superdome in New Orleans, this is Super Bowl 59. Coming up, a battle here in the NFL playoffs. It's the AFC champion, Baltimore Ravens. And the champions of the NFC, the Green Bay Packers. A champion set to be crowned tonight. It's Super Bowl 59. And off we go to a flash of lights here in New Orleans. And he'll be taken down right at the 29-yard line. The Green Bay offense set to go to work for the first time. And they're led by the man who waited his turn, the 2020 first rounder, Jordan Love. He admitted to us the other day, Mike, that he's started to feel a little anxious as game day approach, and I think that's normal. Winning the NFC, that's one thing. But this is the type of stage that can take your legacy to a whole nother level if you're able to come out on top. But in order to make that happen, he's going to have to put those nerves behind him as soon as possible. The last thing you want to do is put yourself in an early hole because you just couldn't settle down. If he's able to remain calm, play his game, his team's going to have a great chance to end this night as world champs. They'll stay on the ground with Jacobs. And he'll get maybe about four yards out of that one. Lane close quickly. And here comes third down. Now, Love, and they will continue to go backwards. He's taken down for a sack. If you're going to take a sack, you just can't add to it by taking such a massive loss on top of it. Understand when the pocket breaks down, move up, cut your losses. Now, not only do you lose that down, but now you face a big uphill battle if you want to extend this drive. On fourth down, the Packers turn it over to Daniel Whelan to punt. Deontay Hardy deep for Baltimore. And that is good coverage by the punt team as they meet him and bring him down. The Ravens offense taking the field for the first time, led by their quarterback, league MVP in 2019 and 2023, Lamar Jackson. As much as you try to tell yourself, Mike, that this is just another game, the reality is it just isn't. It doesn't matter if it's your first Super Bowl or your 10th. This is the game you've dreamt about playing in from the first time you put on pads all the way back in Pop Warner. You're bound to get emotional in some capacity, but you have to get that out of the way and get ready to do everything in your power to turn those childhood dreams of hosting the Lombardi into a reality. As long as this guy does his part, they're going to have a fighting chance to come out on top. Second down, Jackson. And they're going to get to him and take him down, take him back to the other side of midfield. Work to do following the sack. It is third and long. With the shotgun, here's Jackson. Oh, got him again the second time with a sack on this opening drive. What did this defensive play caller tell us all week, Mike? They wanted to come out and set the tone of this game, dictate the terms of how this game would be played, and, man, through the first drive here, boy, have they ever. On fourth down, the Ravens call on Jordan Stout to punt. Out to return this for the Packers, it's Keyshawn Nixon. This brought in out past the 20.
and some good running on that return as he takes it up close to midfield. Packers offense ready to take over as we check out the playoff race in the NFC. Set to go now on first and ten. Set, ready. They'll start on the ground with Jacobs. And he's trying to turn the corner, but will not do it. Brought down behind the line. Well, they try to get the run game started here early on this drive, Mike, and they're just going to have to do a better job up front. There's really nowhere for this ball carrier to go. You never want to lose yards on first down, but that's exactly the case here. And they're going to work this down inside the 45. This is already a little better than the first time they had the ball, Mike. Remember, opening possession, three and out. Showing some signs of life here now. Nice pick up there by the back to pick up the first down. Once again, it's Jacobs. Oh. One of the key factors for having success in the run game, Mike, is winning at the point of attack. And what that means is every play, the linemen and all the blockers, they understand where the back is going to start and then where the back could end up. And having a good understanding of that and how it pertains to the defense is how you gain your advantage to have big plays like this. It's possible they could have tried to be a little bit more aggressive on second down knowing they had third and inches in their back pocket, but I don't think anyone's going to complain. Pick up the first down, extend the drive, see if you can go score. This is Jacobs. Not much. Second and long coming up. Out of the shotgun. It's love. That one broken up. It's incomplete. All over him down the field. It'll set up third down. It's hard to play that ball any better than the way that defender did right there. I mean, to stay patient throughout the entire play and make sure that not only are you in prime position to make it, but that once the ball is there, attack it, knock it down, and save a touchdown. That'll be caught. It's Josh Jacobs. And he's going to get there. First down, not by a whole lot, but that'll keep this drive rolling. Here's a handoff to Jacobs. He's down inside the 10, a gain of four. Here's a second and six. They'll run out of the gun with Jacobs. And he's gonna be brought down on what will be the final play in this opening quarter. So after one here in Super Bowl 59, nothing, nothing is the score. More from New Orleans after this. On the ready. Chance here for the first points of this Super Bowl. First down and goal. In motion, Reed. Ready? Here's Jacobs. And that big offensive line. Clearing space. He's in. Josh Jacobs. Touchdown, Packers. That opens the scoring here in Super Bowl 59. But you think back to their first possession of this game, Mike, it resulted in a punt. Not exactly the fast start the coaches told us was so important as this game unfolds. They get the ball back for possession, too. Now they try to find some rhythm, find their identity of the game plan, and they come away with six. So that's how you bounce back in this league. It's not always going to be perfect. Really nice job settling into this game here with their second possession.
7-0 is our score as this kick is sent into the air. This kick is fielded in the end zone, but no move to bring it out. It's touchback, and that ball will come out to the 30-yard line. A fresh set of downs to work with. It is first down and 10. In motion comes Andrews. Off the play fake, Jackson. He'll complete this one to Rashad Bateman. And they will bring him down on the other side of midfield. That is such a critical area on the field, Mike, between the hash marks and the numbers. Everyone wants to control the middle of the field. Every offense is targeting it. So what does the defense do? They really pack it. So for a quarterback to be able to put this ball out on the perimeter, it just really stresses these defenses, especially in their coverages. And he'll get six on this one, moving it inside the 40-yard line. They'll come up now for second down and four. It's the tight end likely in motion. Jackson now on second down. And he's not going to get away. They track him down. So backed up after the sack. And now it's third and long. From the gun, Jackson. He bought all the time he could, but he's going to be taken down as he couldn't get a throw away. I think the most frustrating element to all of this is when you look downfield, there's guys open. There's plays to be made downfield in the passing game, but quite frankly, the pass protection has just been so bad that they haven't been able to take advantage of any of it. And no chance of a run back here. This one's going to sail out of bounds. Josh Jacobs and the Packers offense heading back onto the field. And before this drive starts, we'll take a look at the race as it stands to see who might take home the NFL's Offensive Player of the Year award. On the ground, it's Jacobs to start the drive. And he'll wind his way to about the 38-yard line. Kyle Hamilton, the former Notre Dame star, able to make the play. Here's second and six. Off the play fake. Here's Love. That complete to Jacobs. And they get this one across midfield to the 47-yard line. Every defense in the league, Mike, they stress the importance of defending the middle of the field. And in this case, that's just too much room to operate. They have to find a way to close and cloudy up those windows, make the quarterback throw the ball to the sidelines. When you allow him to operate in there, especially with that much space, you're going to make for a long day. They'll come up here first and 10. They'll run with Jacobs. And he'll work forward for about three. It's second down. Now give to Jacobs. He'll run right. He'll get about three. And that's going to lead to third down. Two minutes remain. First half in a 7-0 game. We're back to New Orleans and Super Bowl 59 after this. Here's a third down and four. They'll run it straight ahead with Jacobs. 
A good run there to the 34-yard line. That is a first down. This just shows why you can't count on just one guy to take him down. He's a powerful enough runner. You've got to have guys coming in support when that first hit is made. It takes a team effort to stop him, especially once he gets going. And that's the way you want to run it on first down. A gain of seven. Here's second and three to go. Running is Jacobs. And nothing on that one. Back to the line of scrimmage. And that is it. A corner who is not only a good tackler, Mike, but a willing tackler can be a huge asset to any defense. So often they get a bad rap. They're considered just pass defenders. They want to run around. But for a guy to be able to come up and force the run and keep this to no gain, man. Big difference on any defense. That's time after Green Bay. It'll be their second. Clock is stopped for 26 seconds until the break. On the ground, it's Jacobs. And this time they... He'll be thrown for a loss. No big game that carry. It's second down. Every team makes an emphasis on winning first down, but as a defense, when you're able to take them back for a loss, second and long, you can really become more of a pass-centric defense and really tips the scales into your favor. Here we go. A run up the middle with Jacobs. And he will get into the end zone. Josh Jacobs. Touchdown, Green Bay. That is second touchdown of this Super Bowl. Just a really nice job, Mike, especially just staying poised. Pressure situation, you know how important it is to steal some points before the half, but everybody's in control. Everybody understood the situation and the clock, and they're able to finish that half in style with that late touchdown. Carlson able to knock through the extra point. And the Packers move out on top, 14 to nothing. Very little time remaining in this first half as this kick is away. Hardy now with the return. He'll get this up past the 20. That's where they'll set up shop. They'll start this one with a three tight end look. They do try to run it out as they start on the ground. Now a flag comes in. It was thrown by the umpire. The pickup is four. But usually that's a holding penalty. And they'll elect not to run another play. Instead, just take a knee and take this on into the locker room. So we have reached halftime of Super Bowl 59 here in New Orleans. And for the final time this year, we send it to Jonathan Coachman and the EA Sports Halftime Report. All right, Mike, thanks very much. And what a season this has been, and it is nearing a conclusion. You guys enjoy the show out there. We'll get it back out to you, too, in just a moment. We just watched a solid first half from the 2022 rushing champ, Josh Jacobs. He's over 100 yards rushing for the game already and found the end zone twice as well. These teams finishing off their final adjustments. We're about ready for the second half of Super Bowl 59. And to bring it your way, we go back to Mike Tirico. All right, Coach, second half, drawing near. Glad to have you back with us here on EA Sports. Hardy now with the return. He's across the 20, taking down just shy of the 25. So here's the Baltimore offense getting set for their next drive. And look, they've been out of sorts throughout, Greg. They haven't had any answer for this pass rush all game. Yeah, and, and it's really showing up in the sacks and also just in their ability to prevent any yards, any completions. This has just been a dominant 
pass defense performance here, and everything starts with the rush. The quarterback's uncomfortable. The clock gets sped up. He's got guys in his face. It's a lot easier to play defensive back and then some of these coverage units when you know that ball's got to come out fast. And right now, they're teeing off and taking advantage of it. His first catch of this Super Bowl, and good for the first down. Whatever they've talked about in the locker room at the halftime break seems to have worked. They've come out with a new established energy. You could see it when they took the field. Now this offense seems to be building on it because with that chunk play, just a little bit of rhythm that they can build off of. They got a long way. And he's going to go down yet again. He has been under fire all game long. If they win this game, this pass rush is going to be a big reason why. The five sacks speak for itself, but their ability to disrupt the timing of this offense, that can't be overstated. It's the tight end likely in motion. On the give, here's Henry. Well, they'll get some of the sack yards back, but it's still going to leave them with third down. Jackson now. That one intercepted. Picked off by Corey Ballantyne. And his offense is going to be all set up with a short field and a chance to extend their lead. It's not often, Mike, that everything breaks right for this type of return off of an interception. But, boy, is it beautiful when it does. I mean, look at the defenders just flip around and become blockers, trying to spring their guy to the house. Great athleticism, some great moves on his part. I mean, he's going to have some of his offensive teammates looking over their shoulder for their position. The Packers offense running back Josh Jacobs heading back on the field. And as we look at the highlights, you see it's been tough to stop him here today. Couple of touchdowns in this ball game. He has, without a doubt, been the driving force in this offense so far. Okay, ready? First and ten. Here we go. Set, From the gun, it's love. This one up top for Dobbs. That is going to be pulled in. He's got it. Romeo Dobbs. Touchdown, Packers. All week, we're going to see this play be run over and over as a highlight of the quarterback and the receiver. But, Mike, the part that people don't give enough credit to, in order to get a downfield shot, you have to have time. And what a great job by the offensive line, allowing the quarterback to be comfortable enough in the pocket. Let those deeper routes develop, be on time and accurate with the ball. And that's why this play is going to be a highlight all week. Let's give the big guys up front some credit. And this is not close. He missed it wide to the right. No good. And no extra point. The kickoff team is out on the field. And we're back to it as the kick's away. Hardy now with the return. He'll get across the 20, mark him down at the 23-yard line. The Ravens offense getting set to get back to work. They're in need of points in a big way as they set out on first and 10. Bateman is the motion man. On play action, here's Jackson. A throw, left side, caught by Andrews. And they'll be set up now. Up past the 40 with that one. Now this is the epitome of a really short throw and a really nice run after catch. And listen, for a quarterback, it all counts the same. You don't always have to throw the ball downfield to generate explosive plays. And these drag routes can be very, very effective. And they'll get about half of what they needed. It's a pickup of five and sets up second and five. Aguilar goes off in motion. They'll get maybe three out of that one, and it's going to set up third down.
Jackson now from the 50. Taking off, he'll try to get there. Oh, what a run. Down inside the 30-yard line. You certainly can't fault the secondary here. The coverage was almost too good downfield on third down. The quarterback realized quickly there was nowhere for him to go with the ball, decides to become a runner. He's able to pick up the first down and some. So they come to the line for first down and 10. Aguilar goes off in motion. On first and 10, Jackson. He'll find Aguilar complete. And this one will not work. He goes out of bounds. They're going to drop four on that one. So after the loss on first, here's second and 14. It's a zone read, and Jackson's going to keep it. And nothing cooking on that one. He'll be met and tackled behind the line of scrimmage. The key to running the read option, Mike, is that the timing has to be just right. If it's too slow getting going, a lot of the times defenders can get in the backfield and cause havoc. And that's exactly what happened here. Third and long for Jackson. And this is going to be incomplete. That is great work there, making things difficult defensively. It'll set up a fourth down. He's usually such a reliable target in the passing game, Mike. We just don't see him struggle to come down with catches like that all too often. And when you're one of the go-to guys on your team, I know the hit's coming, but guess what? It feels a lot better after you take that hit after a catch than it does after a drop. And when you find yourself down double digits, you don't want to make habit of settling for these field goals. It does allow them to chip away a little bit and cut into this deficit, but they've got to find a way to score touchdowns. This will be returned from the six. And it'll be brought down past the 25. Decent field position to start this drop. The Packers offense and their running back getting set for this next possession. The lead is 17 as they try to maybe pull away in this one. It is first and 10. A good play action with Love. No one open. He'll drop it to his running back. And he'll be taken down all the way up past the 45. Mike, think back to our conversation during the break. We've kind of both asked ourselves, are they content with this double-digit lead? Do they come out and play conservative here in the second half? Well, it took exactly one play to get our answer. Come on, set. Ready? On play action, love. That's going to be incomplete, and the clock will stop. Likely one more play in this third quarter. They'll try again here, second and ten. Love. And that is incomplete. They couldn't hook up there as time has expired. The third quarter has come to an end. After back-to-back -back incompletions, they now face third down and 10. Here's Jacobs. Call it a gain of 13. Good for a Green Bay first down. Here's a case of an offense just piling on. You're really imposing your will on the defense. Everyone in the stadium knows you're going to run it. The defense knows it. You know it. And no matter what they do, they have no answers whatsoever. And a good run there. Going to get him five yards. The 
They'll break the huddle. It's second and five. They'll run it to the right here with Jacobs. It'll be stacked up at the line of scrimmage. No gain on the play. We've seen this back have his way with this defense all game long, Mike. He's up over 100 yards for the game, but this time the defense said, we've had enough. They sold out to stop him. They hold him to no gain. From the gun on third down, it's Love. That is hot. What a throw! Christian Watson, touchdown, Green Bay. Greg, that's one of those scores where it's not completely over, but it's getting to be about that time. Yeah, Mike, I just think they're entering miracle stage right now, and I just don't think there's any coming back from this deficit. Carlson now for the extra point. It's no good. One of the few things that's gone wrong so far. So they're unable to add one more point onto this big lead. Both teams ready to go once more as the kick's away. Hardy now with the return. He'll get this past the 20 before he's brought down shy of the 25-yard line. The Ravens offense race, see what they can do with this next possession. Things not looking good. But see if they get the turnaround going here. They'll start this drive with first down. Back to throw, Jackson. That's over the middle to the tight end, Andrews. And will mark him down just shy of the 40. And this is a tricky part of the game for any defense. You find yourself protecting a late lead. And the age-old question is, do you remain aggressive? Do you try to just keep the ball from being thrown over your head and make everything be tackled and played in front of you? That's what every defensive coordinator struggles with. So they can't get too soft here as they try to hold on to this lead here late. Jackson looking to throw. Ah, oh, the ball's out. Ah, oh, one of his teammates is there to pick it up. Here comes third and six. Here's Jackson. And this offensive line just has no answers right now. It's another sack. Going to leave the offense out there for fourth and long. And that is not going to work. Incomplete. And they turn it over on deck. You find yourself down big. It's the fourth quarter. There's really no choice but to go for this at this point. But once again, this defense, they're up to the task, and they come through yet again with a huge stop the Packers offense and their running back set to go once more they start with the lead and the football they do so with tremendous field position it's first and ten and he'll be out of bounds at the five a big play here in the big game 31 yards and this is the point of the game, Mike, where you really can start leaning on your run game and try to close this game out. You've got the lead. You're in the fourth quarter. And they're able to pop. And he will score again. Josh Jacobs. Touchdown, Packers. With that, he ties the Super Bowl record, his third touchdown of the night. And that touchdown probably, Greg, ends any small hopes of a comeback on the other side. Yeah, and I think those chances, Mike, were small to begin with. But with that last score, I think this one is pretty much over. Now Carlson to add the extra point. The kick is good. And the Packers add on to their already sizable lead.
the kickoff team is out on the field. And we're back to it as the kick's away. Hardy now with the return. And he'll bring it out to the 22-yard line. That's where the offense will take the field. The Ravens offense back onto the field for their next possession. They'll begin with first and 10. Jackson that's caught Derrick Henry and he's not going to get too far tackled after a gain of just a yard two minutes to play in Super Bowl 59 we're back to write a finish to the season after this here's second and nine Bateman is the motion man. Play action now. Jack, and he's going to go down yet again. He has been under fire all game long. Third and long. Jackson. High throw, but it's reeled in. Pretty good effort on that one. It will not be enough. It's going to bring up fourth down. As a route runner, once you identify zone coverage like they were playing here, the key is find open space and stay in it. He did a nice job here because that was not a big hole. The quarterback had to put a little extra on that one, and they were able to make the completion. And he's going to go down. The pressure once again too much, and that should wrap this one up you gotta give credit to the defensive coordinator here he went into attack mode had a great blitz planned for this fourth down situation disrupted the timing of the offense and the quarterback had nowhere to go he flushes out of the pocket to keep the play alive and they're able to chase him down force the sack force the turnover on downs they'll break the huddle coming up now for first and ten here we go, here we go. Uh, now, Jacobs. And that'll be good for about a half dozen. It'll set up second down. They'll stay on the ground with Jacobs. Maybe a couple there. It's third down. And the Packers have done it. They are your Super Bowl champions. So the Lombardi Trophy once again, heading home to Titletown. Commissioner Goodell presenting it to the Green Bay Packers, champions of Super Bowl 59. So that will put a wrap on this year on EA Sports. Thanks to my partner, Greg Olson, for a great first season together in the booth. Until the fall, Mike Tirico, good night from the Super Bowl in New Orleans.